quick settings show grid 9 3 close grid scroll down scroll down show grid 42 7 close grid go home okay now check this out i've got this icon over here i will just tap on this to activate the voice access feature now without touching the phone i will be giving it some commands to execute the functions have a look at this now the voice access is on swipe right swipe left quick settings now let's say I want to tap on a particular toggle here. I'll ask the phone to show me the grids. Show me the grids. You can see all these grids are numbered here. Now you can see each portion of the screen has got these grids with numbers. Whichever portion of the screen you want to tap on, you can just see the number. Now let's say I want to turn off the dark mode. The dark mode toggle is in number 34. I will say 34. 34. Now here we have got smaller grids to precisely touch a particular area. Let me say three. As you can see, it just tapped on this particular toggle. Now the dark mode is turned off and the light mode is on. Now close grid. The grids are closed now. Home. This is an incredible feature, isn't it? Without touching the phone, we can ask the phone to do a few things which it will be able to understand and execute what you are asking it to do. Now let me show you where you can activate this particular feature. Let's tap on settings. I'll tap on accessibility. Here under interaction and dexterity, we have got voice access feature. Let me just tap on this. Here you can turn on this toggle. It says allow voice access to have full control of your phone. Full control is appropriate for apps that help you with accessibility needs, but not for most applications. It includes these permissions, view and control screen, view and perform actions. Let me just allow this. Now this feature has been turned on. Here it says speak to voice access and control your device hands free. Try go home, go back, show notifications, click OK, open photos. Many more commands are supported. Uh, to check out those commands, you can tap on the settings and we have got this voice access commands on top. Now we have got all these categories and we have got all those commands under these categories. You can just see which commands you can use and try to remember the command so that you can ask the phone to do. Now there are a few more settings and toggles which you can go through and activate depending on your needs. As you can see under activation, we've got activation button, uh, listening behavior on screen wake up. Here you can select the options, always start listening, start listening unless previously asked to stop, never start listening. You can select the option you want and we've got options like activate for incoming calls, active during calls. You can enable these options if you want. Now, if you don't want this feature to be active all the time, what you can do is under voice access settings, we have got an option called activation button. You can enable this to get this particular icon here. This is the activation button. Whenever you tap on this, the voice access will get activated and you can say the commands. Now, though this is a great feature, this is not made for everybody. This is available on the phone for people who are suffering from mobility disability. If somebody is having a mobility impairment and not able to use the phone in the hands, then this will be really, really useful. However, anybody would be able to use this feature. If you enable it, you will be able to access the phone without even touching it. Now, I'm sure you will be having a question in your mind. How does it work if the phone is locked? Let me show you that. Let me just lock the phone. Lock the phone. You can see we still have this voice access icon right here. I'll just tap on this. Now the voice access is on. All I can do is say swipe up. As you can see here, each number is depicted with a particular word which you can say to unlock the phone. That is so thoughtfully done. Key in your password by saying the commands and unlock your phone. That's it. This is a brilliant feature which is available on all the Android phones you should check out. Let me know what do you think about this in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. There are loads of things to learn on the channel about your Samsung Galaxy phones or any Android phones. So be sure you subscribe and hit the like button if you find this video useful. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye bye.